Am I the asshole for not punishing my seven-year daughter for her play relationships? My husband and I have a seven-year-old daughter together, Layla. A few months ago, Layla got a boyfriend, Lucas. They are both seven, so it's obviously not a real relationship. They just hold hands sometimes and they drew each other hearts for Valentine's Day. This week, Layla was apparently holding hands with another boy who also sent Layla a Valentine's Day love letter and Lucas took offense to it. We found out because Lucas' parents called to tell us Lucas won't be coming over to us this Saturday like it was originally planned, because he is mad at Layla. My husband wants us to punish Layla and wants me to have a talk with her about faithfulness. At first I thought he was joking, but no, he was serious. He says that Layla cheated on Lucas and I, as her mother, should do something about it. I told my husband that Layla is seven, not a cheater and I won't treat her as such. He then accused me of raising a cheater and encouraging the bad behavior. Am I the asshole? For not wanting to punish Layla? Edit typo. Not the asshole. This is beyond ridiculous these kids are seven years old there can be no cheating if the people involved are not in a committed relationship. How stupid to suggest that these two little kids are in any way in that type of relationship. They are friends. By my lights, to punish your daughter in this situation would be crazy and wrong. I would just talk to her in simple terms about trying not to hurt a friend's feelings. She's seven. It's ridiculous to call her a cheater. At the same time, you can sit her down and explain why Lucas is upset and doesn't want to see her. That's more than enough of a lesson. Not the asshole. Oh Lord, punishing her is extreme, but having a little chat with her about why Lucas is upset with her seems like a good idea. Not the asshole for not wanting to punish her. I am weirded out by your husband. Was he cheated on? Is he cheating? Was he never a child? It's such a strange reaction. Not the asshole. Your husband is taking this way too seriously, and little Lucas will get over it. You could talk to your kid and say that Lucas is hurt and explain why, but it's nothing she needs to be punished for or that needs to be turned into a big lesson about faithfulness or something. At that age, I had a similar kind of play relationship, with my cousin. My parents never pulled me aside to talk about incest and all worked out lol. Not the asshole. Your husband is, how can I put this nicely, an absolute idiot. I'm confused as to how why he is putting an adult romantic concept onto seven-year-olds. Does he get his knickers in a twist when Layla decides that she isn't friends with another girl, because kids do that best friends today, mortal enemies tomorrow and besties again the day after. Not the asshole. And if my husband acted this way towards our daughter when she was this age, I'd be worried that he either hit his head and now suffers complication, or is cheating and projecting. Just tell hubby she is preparing for her polyamorous lifestyle, that begins age 10. Not the asshole was your husband expecting this relationship with Lucas to last? Did he expect a proper breakup to happen? It never does with these seven-year-old relationships they just start talking to someone else. Definitely don't punish Layla for changing her mind about a boy it'll just put unhealthy expectations on her. She's so young why make everything so serious? Your husband's reaction has me feeling deeply uncomfortable. I'd care if it's just me? Yes you can for sure talk with your seven-year-old about minding others' feelings. You can ask her what happened. How she handled it. Did she feel proud? Get her take before labeling her all this nasty names like cheat and disloyal. Harsh. And if she hears it it will stick. Not the asshole but this just gives me the pits. What is wrong with the comments here? WTF. She learns cheating is wrong by losing Lucas as a friend and not by punishment through her parents. You don't punish your kids for stuff like that. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your husband's suggestion is wildly disproportionate to the situation. It might not be a bad opportunity to talk to Layla about Lucas being sad, but putting this on her seems unfair. 
not the asshole. Your husband needs some serious help. That's insanity personified. She's seven, she has no concept of faithfulness or cheating. Your husband is sexualizing your daughter by assuming she would be in a relationship at seven. She's a kid being a kid. I would be very worried about this behavior. Not the asshole, a seven-year-old isn't engaging in actually serious relationships, they come and go day by day. Your husband is insane for thinking she should be punished for this. Like actually insane. My son is nine, and has had a number of admirers at school. These have gone well, or poorly one girl used to do the I'm hitting you because I like you thing and none of them have lasted and nobody has gotten upset about it. That kind of disappointment is normal for young children and isn't anything that needs punishment. Not the asshole. No way in hell I'd put the guilt on a literal seven-year-old for cheating. They are not in a romantic relationship. They are friends. They are children. Children can have multiple friends. I used to hold hands with boy and girl friends. He gave her a valentine, and that made her happy, so they are now friends holding hands. Stop raising fragile boys who can't handle an ounce of disappointment from anyone but especially a girlfriend. I know it's stereotypical, but these comments are screaming boy mom vibes. Not the asshole. JFC. This is insane, crying face, of course you're not the asshole. Om guy had a good laugh at your husband's reaction lmao. You could tell her that she hurt her body's feelings and that growing up, she should think more about others' feelings to her actions. That's the most I'd tell her. But saying she's a cheater she's seven. Not the asshole. Is the other parent going to have a conversation about clearly communicating their expectations around exclusivity? Oh they're not, because he's seven. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Telling Layla that Lucas is upset because she played with someone else, that would be a good thing. Teaching empathy and that people exist when she is not there and all that. But lecturing and punishing her for cheating? That implies a greater understanding of interpersonal relationships and her own feelings than any seven-year-old can be expected to have. At that age children are still learning about their own feelings, and what they mean. They don't really understand what boyfriend and girlfriend is yet. Not the asshole. Your husband is being weird. And doesn't understand how childhood works. Not the asshole. When I was five I had tray boyfriends. Your husband may be shocked, but at 29 I am still not a cheater. Not the asshole. Why are grown adults over sexualizing children? They're seven. Reading this made me laugh, is your husband FR? Smiley face. Not the asshole lol. Lol, seven years old can't be a cheater WTF. Smiley face, they are too young to understand or be in a serious relationship, it's just them trying to copy adults. Your daughter will understand faithfulness when she becomes old enough to be in an actual relationship. What's wrong with your husband? Not the asshole.